So now as we progress in this study, what we want to start talking about today is His holiness in me. So we want to talk about how God takes us and helps us be like Him. And what does it mean to be holy? But let's first of all begin by understanding the fact that God Himself is the one who makes us holy. So here's what I want us to understand about holiness. That we are called to be holy. For example, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 7, it says, For God did not call us to uncleanness, but in holiness. So holiness is a call. It's an invitation given to us by God. He says, I am your sanctifier. I'd like to do this for you. Here's my invitation. Would you like to come? Now, how does God help us become that? How does God help us become that? First and foremost, we must understand that God himself has broken the power of sin over our lives. The next thing God does is he makes us this new creation that is fully sanctified. So then that brings us to the next step, which is the pro sanctification, the process of being made holy. So this process of sanctification is simply you and me then bringing every aspect of our lives aligned to what God has already done for us. So let's talk about the practical side. Number one, the sanctification of our mind and our body. The fact that he's made me holy now begin to touch the deeds of my body. Consecrate that to the Lord. The sanctifying, sanctification of our desires, our affections, our passions. Talking about our appetites. Our appetite for food, our appetite to sleep, our sexual appetites. The sanctification of our dreams, our hopes and aspirations. So now my dreams and my hopes, my aspirations, what I want to become, what I want to achieve begins to change. Because now I'm responding to the call to be like Him and belong fully to Him. The sanctification of our time, our talents, and our money. I'm not saying don't have recreation. We honor God you know, in our relaxation, recreation. I'm not saying don't do that. But we are watchful over our time, our skills, our talents, our money. And then the sanctification of our family, our home, our possessions. So now you say, God, even my home, my children, my family... My possessions, they're also yours. And that is God's holiness working in you and me. You want to talk about some rewards of personal holiness. What should motivate us? Why is holiness important? Uh, there are many reasons that you can find in Scripture. And I'll just mention a few. Number one is that holiness is key to being part of Him. If you want to belong to Him, this is only the way. This is the way. Truly experience Him. Second reason is holiness is key to possessing our possessions. So for God's people to experience deliverance and possess their possessions, one very important key is holiness. Number three, holiness is profitable for all things. With every area of your life, you're going to be blessed if you walk in godliness. Number four, holiness is a key to being a vessel of Honor, if, if you and I want God to use us, here's another requirement. You've got to be sanctified, a vessel of honor. Number five, what is the reward of holiness? It's key to walking in spiritual authority. The Bible says in James 4, 7, submit yourselves to God, resist the devil, and he will. Last one, it's the key to Christ-likeness. That means every aspect of Christ's nature being formed in us is connected to being holy. Because as in God, holiness is the core of His nature. Every other aspect of who He is is, is undergirded, is, is, is mixed in with holiness. So also for us, for us to be Christ-like, we cannot be Christ-like apart from holiness. 